when troubleshooting your DC board, I always recommend disconnecting your motor lines, which are generally wire number 22 and 21, or the wires that are hooked up to the A negative and the fuse on the A positive. After you have them disconnected, you can go ahead and turn on your machine with the motor disconnected. And you're going to take your multimeter and attach them to that A negative and A positive. Once attached, you should be able to read variable DC voltage output using your conveyor speed pot on the front of the control panel. And as you can see with this board, we are getting variable DC voltage, which tells us that it is a good board. Right. So troubleshooting your DC board, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have power on to your machine. You're going to want to have power on and your heater bank toggle switch. And as you can see on our board here, we have a green light and a red light. If there's a red light, that means we have a current limit, which is generally two things. It's gonna be your resistor has blown, and the reason your resistor is blown is because of the motor. So when you receive a new DC board and you install it, get your fuses and your resistor in, you are going to have to set up uh, the min and the max on your DC board. For the maximum, all of our motors are 90 volts DC, and you're going to adjust the small trim pot on the DC board up to 89 volts DC, just to give us a small buffer. And then same thing for the minimum, we're going to turn it all the way down to zero on your conveyor speed. And then we're going to adjust the minimum speed pot on the DC board down until you read zero. And that's how you set up a new DC board. For the resistor, it is replaceable. To remove, simply grab up, slightly rotating, or rocking, and it pulls right out. Replacing the resistor pushes right in. For replacing fuses that are blown, simply take a small flathead screwdriver and carefully pry underneath the body of the fuse until one end releases rotating up and removing. Installing new fuses, simply place them on the fuse holder, make sure they're centered, and push down on either side evenly. They will snap into place.